Live, local, now. This is WSFA 12 News, first at 4. Happening right now, WSFA 12 News. And the Central Alabama and Black Belt Community Foundations are raising money for tornado victims. Happening now as people across Central Alabama work to recover from last week's devastating tornadoes. Many lost everything and are counting on the help of others to pull through. Yeah, and that's why the Central Alabama Community Foundation and the Black Belt Community Foundation are teaming up with WSFA 12 News to raise money. Our Rosanna Smith joining us live from our relief drive, which is going on right now. Rosanna? Mark, it is underway right now. We have volunteers right behind me standing by those phones ready to answer your call. Now, already we've raised over $48,000 and we are expecting more donations to roll in. You have the opportunity to give. We make it as easy as possible. You can call 334-613-8283 or you can give online. You can find that information on WSFA.com or we've even put put a QR code at the bottom right corner of your screen that you can scan. And I'm joined right now by Lydia Chapman with the Black Belt Community Foundation. Lydia Selma, hard hit area. Talk about and give some perspective on the damage that you've been able to see on the ground there. Lord Jesus. Um, well, Selma, definitely, like you said, hard hit um, families that have totally been displaced. We um, already had a housing crisis before the storm, but right now we it, it's just an escalated level. Um, I'd have to think about just riding around and delivering um, goods to families and individuals who are literally without a roof, you know, have never seen this type of devastation in my hometown. And one third of our city has been impacted. So there are thousands of people that have been displaced who um, are searching for housing, right, have had to go to other communities coming this way to Montgomery and Prattville and other spaces. Um, glad to, to come back to Selma when they can, when rooms are available. But we really are working very hard on the ground to make sure that people have what they need, including mental health services. Um, I do recall the first day out riding around, and one evening a gentleman was literally sitting on steps and there was no house behind him. So to think of that um, and to know that he's not alone and to just share in that space and to say, you, we've got you. We're coming. We're here. Like, what do you need? Um, and in, in a time like this, that is the number one question. What do you need? I can imagine that this is very heartbreaking for you, knowing that your hometown has faced some devastation many have never known before. Uh, you talk about that need. There are some people that lost absolutely everything that they have ever known. Um, how are these funds going to help them rebuild? Because we know that it's not going to happen overnight. Right. Well, we're in the process of recovering and rebuilding. Um, Selma is definitely positioning itself to make sure that the funds are used properly, that we will use equity and not equality because there are community there are neighborhoods in our community um, that need it more than others you know it's one thing to have homeowners insurance and to be able to pick up that phone and dial a 1-800 number and talk to someone and receive instant you know um, funds however if you've been living in a community for 40 years perhaps renting perhaps owning the house and now it's paid for and homeowners insurance wasn't a top priority because of your um, economic status right we need help. We need to make sure that our residents are able to maintain their lives, go back to their homes, um, and that our neighborhoods are, are remain intact. Because we have lots of families that are depending on us in Selma. There are a lot of families indeed depending on all of us right now, and we are banding together. Thank you so much for joining me. And another reminder, there is no donation that is too small. There are so many people hurting right now that need your help. You have the opportunity to band together with us and our other partners to make sure that these families can rebuild and recover. It's going to be a long journey ahead.